This is Jerry White from the World Socialist website reporting from downtown Detroit. On Wednesday morning, tens of thousands of residents from the city came to Cobo Hall in order to get applications for a city-run program to distribute federal monies to help those facing evictions, high utility bills. City officials acknowledged they had resources only to help somewhere between 3,000 and 3,500 people. In fact, police estimated some 50,000 people showed up. The scenes outside of Cobo Hall were reminiscent of the soup kitchens and food lineups of the Depression of the 1930s. It's testimony to the deep social crisis in the city of Detroit, where some 29% of the population is unemployed and tens of thousands more have left the labor force. Well, no, I'm not working right now. I cannot find a job. And everybody I know can't find a job. We living in Detroit, nobody won't give us no job, especially now that all the bus lines is getting cut and everything. I have a one-year-old, and I've been looking for a job for a whole year, and they, they don't want to hear you getting on the bus going, going to find a job. So that's every basically what I'm down here for. Every job requires you to have transportation, reliable transportation. And most people don't have reliable transportation, right. and they're trying to get it now, so. It's horrible. I mean, I, I lost my job the end of June, um, and I just recently got my unemployment going, and it's been really tough for me. What kind of work were you doing? I was working in a homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm here for them to help me with my water bill, because my water bill is like behind, and it's been in, they put it in my taxes, so I got to pay like $173 for taxes. That's on my tax bill, and like it's $150 left to pay other than, you know, on my regular bill, so that's how that went. Well, no. Ask my parents for some money, which that's not working out. Everybody moved to Arizona trying to get jobs there, and I'm still here with my son trying to make it. I mean, there's now 9.8% uh, unemployment, you know, now it's taking place. Even the shelters and, is full. People can't even get in the shelters. They living out on the streets now. And that's what I'm trying to prevent from me and my child to be out on the streets. I'm trying to prevent that. What's your situation? Yes, um, I'm near homeless. I mean, I live with my mother, but I'm a college student, I'm a full-time college student, and I was told by word of mouth that, you know, they were giving out applications or whatever to help people, you know, you know, assist us with rent and utilities and bills and everything like that. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, I can get my application, you know, and it's making me sad what I'm seeing down here. You know, people are fighting. I was told that it was six fights on the inside, three people had a heart attack. It's sad, you know. That's for real. That just, yeah. So what do you think of this situation? It's crazy. I mean, this is a definite wake-up call for Detroit and for the rest of the population around here. It's, it's a real wake-up call. They're really kind of crazy. They could have given the money to the individuals out here. And um, they could have paid in the form of vouchers as far as their utilities, as far as the mortgages. The real estate companies would not have fallen because they would have actually had bonuses. And to do things like this, it helps the people, but it really doesn't help them in the form of a help that they really need. People are very upset, very upset. And uh, people are probably in worse situations than me. You know, they out here with their kids, people out here with the strollers and car seats and you know, it's their children are, their children are in, right improperly dressed and. You said people are out here how long? Since four o'clock, twelve o'clock last night, camped out, waiting for this day because that, like I said, didn't nobody know about it until a couple of days. This stuff been going on. They have applications out. People have them applications. They only accept the applications, taking the applications for those who already filtered out. So the people that's out here right now is just waiting for to get an application. And they only got five thousand left. It's fifteen thousand in there already. 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 15,000 15, people in there already. That's all the apps. Ain't nobody gonna get a piece. And that's what it is, and it's sad. It's sad. Yeah, but it's other than that, they've been had these applications out. Did nobody inform us? Like I said, the city is really poor right now. 
And you could see, you could tell by the communication ways of how they're getting things out across the city and the citizens about helps and needs. Let's make sure ain't nobody stealing these funds right. this time. That's, yes, and it seems like everybody get away with stealing these days. Yeah. A lot of stealing going on, and it's sad. It's sad. A lot of people up in there. And people are people really hurting. Man, they hurting. Man, they get it was they about to round there on they really about to fight because they got three lines coming in. They got lines are wrapped around in a tunnel. And they collapsing with this line over there. This is gonna be a riot down there. It's gonna be a riot here. They was pushing up in there. Like I said, it's it's sad. It's sad. It's real sad. It's Detroit for you. Somebody, uh, there's a lot, all these rich people out here, they trying to make money for themselves and they not thinking about. What do you think about the policies of Obama? He said that they were gonna actually provide jobs, they're gonna change the situation, but it hasn't changed. Well, it hasn't changed here at least, not least yet. Cause I'm still trying to figure out how the city in a $300 billion deficit. I don't understand that. Cause I'm trying to figure out, they talking about. Where's all the money going? Where's all the money going? They talking about they trying to bring jobs to Detroit. That haven't happened yet. So we still trying to, we still looking for a change. And why is Kwame still living good? That's what I want to know. And <laughs> why are we out here in this line? And he has a mansion living good. That's what I want to know.